Hello and welcome everybody. This is your Slearbot. Here's just in time for more Bioshock. In the last episode, we got in the this episode, we're going to get into the play Atlas. The bloody king of rapture. Now find your way to emergency access. Well, let me make sure I got it. I don't know why, why, why do I keep turning everything off. Uh. No, nope, where's the gameplay option? There we go, let's turn that on. Why is it off? Uh. Actually, let me make sure everything else is. So I should have the quest arrow on. Uh, okay, yeah. Item trimmer is on. Okay. Um, the reason I put the quest arrow on is because I will get lost in this. Um, so right here we get introduced to the map. Um, we could have turned this on before. In fact, they might have shown in the last episode. Um, click to move around and look, cl or click and hold. Um, we can click here to zoom in and zoom out. Zoom out shows us the entire map. Uh, white, uh, brighter areas are where we've explored, other areas are areas that we haven't explored yet, the little darker areas. Arrows are like to and from points, they're basically stairs and elevators. Um, and here's where our map is, if we click over here, this tells us our goals, what we need to do. Um, if we click on ones figured out, here we got our notes, or met and messages, excuse me. Um, this is this includes diary entries, so we can go in different areas, different chapters, different parts of the city, and see what we've collected so far. We got radio messages, which is basically what Atlas has been telling us. Um, we'll get other stuff from other people, I think. And fact, we not? Huh? We don't have any of the stuff from Andrew Ryan that we saw last episode. Um, and finally, we have the help here, which is where we get our all our notes, um, telling us how to play the game. Um, all the stuff that we found, security systems, um, lacking security, yeah. Does it give us everything? I don't, don't think it gave us everything. No, it doesn't, huh. Weird. Oh, we're about to get into what hacking is here in a second. Um, real quick, we have a vending machine. Probably the most more annoying vending machine you'll ever see in your life. Um, we press either Mac, we can buy all this stuff here, we got... Uh, in this in this particular machine, we got first aid kits and e-pipes. Those are pretty common. We got uh, vodka, pistol rounds, and electric buck. Uh, we'll be getting into what that is once we got once we got the shotgun. Um, so yeah. Um, and here we have a security box. We can search it for stuff, and also we can hack it. This is the introduction. This is our introduction to hacking. Um, what this is, if you've ever played uh, any pipe dream game, this is exactly what it is. So we flip these tiles to try, to try and discover tiles that we can use. Get from point B, or point A to point B. Um, then we click and drag one pipe and move it over to another. It they swap places, and yeah, you can kind of figure out what we gotta do from here. Um, there are stuff that we can run into that we can't move, and those stuff, those are stuff that will hurt us. Um, one being alarms, I'll set, alarm, set off alarms, we'll get into what that is when we get into it. Um, and the other is, uh, overloads, which if it goes into that, it has the same effect as if it, as if, say, we remove this over here, and it, it was reached before it reached, uh, before we were to replace it, which means it would overload, would be sent out, of uh, this, and we take a little bit of damage. Um, now there are two things we can do once we connect to everything. We can either increase the flow speed, or we can right click to increase the flow speed. Um, really it's one thing, but there's two options to do it. I figured I might as well mention the right click to skip it. Um, also real quick, um, I went into my options and changed, uh, got, and changed walking to uh, our weapon wheel. Um, this is what the PC interface for the weapon wheel looks like, which is a lot different from anything else. So I'm just kind of select over and just click to choose whatever you want. Um, so yeah. So yeah. Oh, it looks like we're in the middle of the ward here. Um. 
Go pick up some machine gun round. Okay. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Right there we got a uh, use of our little turret buddy here shooting for us. Um Turrets will not fire at enemies if you're try if you're trying to be sneaky. So if you're unless you're spotted by the enemy, the turrets will not shoot at them. So fortunately the turrets are smarter than your average turret. Um, right here we have a diary, and I'm going to show up while I'm for a talk about Ryan and Adam. Adam and Ryan. All those years of study, and was I ever truly a surgeon before I met them? How we clinked away with our scalpels and toy morality. Yes, we could lop a boil here and shave down a beak there, but, but could we really change anything? No. But Adam gives us the means to do it. And Ryan frees us from the phony ethics that held us back. Change your look, change your sex, change your race. It's yours to change. Nobody else's. Okay, so we got a diary entry from this Steinman fellow. Maybe he can help us if we can be lucky enough to find him. Security alert is in progress. Um, if you want to use the emergency access, you'll be needs Dr. Steinman's key. He's the one that runs this place. But I don't expect him to hand it to you out of the milk of human kindness. Steinman ain't that kind. And frankly, I'm not even sure he's still human. Oh, that sucks. So, yeah, that kind of screwed us over anyway. Um... So, yeah, one thing about the audio diary, um, if I pick up the di audio diary in an area where I think there's going to be a lot of story driven stuff, I'm going to try to let the audio diary listen through before progressing forward. Um, I'm going to try to get as much work as I can get done with while we're listening to it. Um, so, yeah. Now here we got a machine gun! Surprise, surprise, pick the four of Now that I know that exists, since I didn't know that existed until I was rematching my keys earlier, um... Quick, someone shut the door! I had, to, I had to remap my keys, because apparently whenever this game crashed, it would reset everything to default. That actually could be the reason why the subtitles were really off. Now that I think about it. Yeah, I'm... That's my friend! You made me hit my friend! Ah. And he's almost dead. Is that right? Did I fix him? Might have. Oh! So, yeah, when, um... So, yeah, whenever you see your, uh, your turrets, and so it's good. Um, one fire. Apparently, you can just turn them off and turn them back on, and they'll fix it the itself. <laughs> three huh. three Only Windows Seven could, or Windows Eight could work that well. <laughs> uh. Let's see. Got at least today. So what is this? Doctor Steinman said he'd release me today. Ryan didn't come to see me since the New Year's attack. Not once. Dr. Steinman was very attentive. He told me that once the scar tissue was gone, he was going to fix me right up, make me prettier than any girl I've ever seen. He's sweet, all right, and so interested in my case. Huh. That's interesting. So obviously this Adam that Adam can mess with people's heads. Um, check the time. Right here we have a broken uh, health station. There we go, I think that's what they're called. Um, I'll get into more detail of what these are when we get into them. Actually, there's one more thing I want to go into real quick while we're, while we're still here. 
Um, this vending machine. So you may have noticed, the wow, prices no, here are pretty no, outrageous. No I mean, except for maybe the, the vodka, but that, that's not a bad deal on that, but everything else is pretty high. And you also notice that we got these two hack-only items. Guess what we get to do? Hack it! Um, so yeah. Uh, one thing I've noticed with this game, and I don't know if this is... I don't know if this is just me being smart enough to see this, or if this is just a coincidence so far. Um, but like, all the... all the vending machines, no matter what, what type of vending machine there are, there are different types of vending machines, will have the same kind of general start starting layout. Like, you see what the way these were laid... these were laid out up here. You have the three down here. Um... And... So yeah, now we see that the prices are cheaper and a little more affordable. I say a little more. Um, and we also have these hack only items, which... Uh, you know what? I'll go ahead and buy that. If you... You cannot buy more than what you can hold. In terms of stuff, like you may have noticed you can't buy First Aid or Eve high Um If you do... Buy something like say we had uh, 47 uh, pistol rounds, and we bought uh, and we bought one more. The remainder would come out of here, and we can pick that up later. So don't worry about wasting all your ammo, all your stuff. Just also keep in mind that you may not come back to that particular vending machine, or you may not even remember you bought all that. So um, be careful what you buy, and just kind of make sure that you're going to use it. You're probably got another ghost And with that said, I'll be right back. So, one moment, please. And we're back. Sorry about that. Um, so, yeah. So, when we last left off, we had a ghost here and, uh, going to the store. Diamonds, the daft bastard set up shop in the surgery wing. You want to find them? Well. <laughs> above all, well, above all, do not, do no harm. Jay Stein. Uh, something tells me that a lot of something tells me this all has to do with the atom that we've been dealing with. Adam presents new problems for the profession. As your tools improved, so do your standards. There was a time I was happy enough to take all the old to or turn a real circus ring. Remember, all them Damn it! So yeah, right here we get introduced to overloads, and I'll go. I'll be back playing that uh that diary in here in a minute. Um, I mentioned what the overloads. I've already made, already went through with the with the. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't speak today. I already, I already went through what the overloads do. Um, you hit the overload that does the same effect as if you were to reach the end of a pipe without having it connected to this point. Um, in which you take damage. Um, when you. Yeah. Uh, um, there we go. And, uh, and back to playing the diary. Adam presents new problems for the profession. As your tools improved, so do your standards. There was a time I was happy enough to take off a wart or two. Turn a real circus freak into something you can show in the daylight. But that was then, when we took what we got. But with Adam, the flesh becomes clay. What excuse do we have not to sculpt? Sculpt and sculpt until the job is done. Oh, money would be one one reason. And two, and when the person says to stop, would be another reason. And isn't the whole point of plastic surgeon, the plastic surgeon to make them look the way they want to look, not the way you want to look? the same. Um, 
around, so... Come here now. Um, just to let you know, you can indeed get hurt by the rat. And we got special ammo, I get to show that off. Um, you get to an ammo, you can get something different, like on for now, you get armor codes, stuff like first, and the daddy, for example. Whereas, uh, anti push all around, we don't have them right now. We'll do better against Slicers. Um, we get a myriad of other types of special ammo, like electric bucks for the shotgun, which will electrocute enemies, exploding bucks for the shotgun, which will, um, where are they? There. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, which will blow up and do you know, heavy damage. Just about anything. Um, and right here we have a health station. We can heal for six and dogs, or we can hack it. Um, let me see if I can find a way up here. Go ahead and move that over. Uh, there we go. Let's do a put up right there. And there. Okay. Or we can do it for ten dollars. Or if we're feeling very brave, we can blow it up and destroy it and then get like you know put one and two health packs. We may get one or two health packs. Um there's a chance that you may not get any. Um So yeah. Um pick up freezing pipes and treat this. Simon, I know medical pavilion is your map. But you might want to cogitate on this. Do you want to work quick on the uh audio? Gonna turn music. And there we, uh, there we go. That should be fine. Um, thing voiceover is also the uh, audio boxes, the diaries. Ocean water is colder than a witch's tea. You don't heat the pipes, the pipes freeze. Pipes freeze, pipes burst. Then ratchet leaks. Now. I realize you're a posh sort of geezer, and frankly, I don't give a toss if you piss or go fishing. But once Rapture starts leaking, the old girl's never gonna stop. And then I'll be sure to tell Ryan he's got you a thank. Huh, so apparently there's some more, uh, leaking issues. And yeah, I would imagine that, that way down here this deep in the ocean it would be rather cold. Um. What do we have here? We've got potato chips, which will consume instantly. Uh, how much else do we have? Uh, uh, there we go. I do not think that, uh. Uh. You know, let's go ahead and see what's in here. That was, that was weird. I guess it's closed because I was too far away from it. Got some beer, dead chips, automatic hack tools, uh, which I didn't get in, I haven't gotten into yet, but if you have an automatic hack tool, um, you can use that to automatically hack a turret, um, anything that's hackable. Uh, you can also buy it out for, if you have the money for it. Um, I'm gonna tell you that. Okay. So it looks like we're gonna have to find a way around that. Dandy dentures. Well, in my experience, fire is a good way to get rid of water. So maybe you can find a way to get rid of this, like pull this eternal flame banister down. And have it roll down here, and then roll down here. It should melt through the ice. So we should probably figure out. We should probably figure out, like, out a way to break that. Yep. Okay, so I guess, uh, whoa! That didn't turn out good for her. Um, we're going to the eternal flame. Right here we have a new splicer. Whoa! Now here we get 
security cameras. As long as we stay out of the the red lights, we should be good. Um, again, same rule applies to this as any other machine. We can hack it, and it will be on our side. It will show them a green light in which we can um, which we can enter and be okay. So we'll be fine as long as we hack it. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Now, any, now anyone else who steps in this light that's not a that's not considered friendly to us, which would be pretty much just our turret. No, we can't break that. Um, we'll take it. We'll uh, be attacked by waves of turrets instead of us. But, nope. Okay. So I guess we're going to do the job there. I don't want those things coming back. Coming into life, turning out they were alive the whole time. Um, which has happened before in the game. There we go. Uh, you're gonna see me start using bu uh, bullets a little more often than at this point because well, because we've already got about 40 rounds, um, and this thing can only hold 48 rounds. So yeah. Um, yeah, here, oh look, something great. Parasite wanders the halls. We rebuild our city and the doubters send a fly to spoil our home. One thousand atoms for the man or woman who pins its weak. A thousand atoms? That's a lot. I'm not sure there's that much in the in total that you can pick up in the game. Um, so we'll go ahead and pick up Incinerate. Right here we get access to the plasmids um, section. We can pick a spot to put this in. Oh, we'll obviously put this in the blank spot. Uh, we can't put it into any of these spots. We gotta unlock them as, we, as time goes. So yeah. Light up foes to a thousand degrees. Warning: fire spreads. Ooh. You die here and now, parasite. Oh, good like that. And we like the oil flick, that's why the enemy's on fire. There we go. Where's that guy again? All roads in Rapture lead to Ryan. The security, the splicers, the big daddies, the little sisters. He pumps some kind of chemical scent in the air. Pheromones, they call it. Makes them all dance to his tune. Hmm. Well, I think this is as good as any spot, and actually, in here would be better, seeing as they can't crawl. To end our episode off for now, so now that we got fire, we can we can go ahead and burn off the uh, the ice in this area, and kind of do a little more exploration and such. So yeah, in the next episode we'll be doing just that. Hopefully, we'll be getting out of the medical pavilion soon and getting Simon's key. Um, until then, I'll see you guys later.